Hello, hello, Blissful Parents, Michelle Abraham, your host here today. I'm talking to you today all about health, wellness, your nutrition, and behavior change. And I've got a really great guest here with me today. I've got Sartre Jean-Gilles today with me. Sartre, how are you doing? I'm good, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> good. Sartre is an online fitness business owner, fitness behavior change coach, kinesiologist, and personal trainer. And his company is sjgfit.com. Uh, you can check him out. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit more about all the amazing things that he does. He really focuses on helping, especially entrepreneur, entrepreneur, <laughs> entrepreneurs. Why don't I can't say that word today? <laughs> entrepreneurs, F, especially female entrepreneurs, which I know a lot of our listeners are moms and entrepreneurs and busy, 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 busy. So um, Sartre is equipped with a degree in a bachelor's science of honors in human kinetics and from the U university of bc his master's degree in health admin he's got so many years experience really focusing on improving healthy habits and improving your overall fitness and nutrition so um what we were what we want to talk about is that this behavior change and what is behavioral change and how can we use this to create some structure in our lives when we are so crazy busy that sometimes ourselves and our fitness gets left behind as moms. <laughs> it's on the low, though, on the priority list where it should be high, high, high on the priority list. <laughs> yeah, behavior change. Um, so behavior change. First of all, thanks for having me, Michelle. I'm so grateful to be on your platform. It's been a pleasure knowing you um, for the past couple of years here. Um, so behavior change. What it is is, so you know the analogy of teach uh, versus uh, personal training. So you know the analogy of teach a man a fish rather than giving them the yeah. fish. So behavior change is really in terms of looking at like structuring your fitness and health uh, routines. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's going to help you um, to, what, what I do is I have a 12-week program and it's it's helping the individual to look at what their habits are, look at what they're doing. And to stack healthy habits on top of one another so that by the end of those 12 weeks, they have, they're equipped um, with the knowledge about themselves mm -hmm. and the world out there so that they can really uh, navigate and, and make the right decisions. So how that happens is we, we take a bird's eye view and we look at you know, what they're eating just visually. Just take pictures of your meals for like two or three days. That's it to start. And when they do that, you know, we start to look at, you know, lunch and dinner and, and breakfast or whatever. And, and just making subtle changes. It's about making, it's about raising the floor as opposed to raising the roof, raising the ceiling. Mm. Um, once your foundation, once your worst day is good enough, then you're always going to be improving. So we start big. So you another analogy is filling the bucket with, you got to fill it with rocks first, rather than the pebbles, then the sand. Mm -hmm. So we look again, we look big, like, so what are you eating? Here's a picture. Take a picture of what you're eating. Um, as opposed to counting calories. Um, that's something that is, that is optional to them later on in the 12 week program. Mm -hmm. Again, optional. If they want it, if they want to do it, that's great. I'll help them with them with it. Cause I have a, you know, I have this PT, everything's housed in my, my app called PT distinction. Well, my part of the app. So everything is there for them. And then, you know, they can look at, yeah, I want to look at my meals. I want to look at my calories. Um, that's not something I, I offer to them, but it's not something that we want them to do forever. It's just to learn the concepts, help, help them to understand the portions, for example, and then you got to let go. Um, I think in terms of calories, you're not a professional, you know, weightlifter no, so fitness be competitor right or anything no we just exactly need, just busy moms <laughs> the busy moms right so that's that's something that i offer them and um especially with busy moms especially if you are um i have coaching tools so the coaching tools will help you to find figure out what's important to you like um we did i i did a coaching tool yesterday with one of my clients week seven of the program he's a dad and so many of his because because he was figuring out what is important to him like what are his what are the the 
what are the his values, right? Because that's one of the things we do is figure out what your values are. And I mean, so much is tied into his children, mm-hmm. right? As a dad who's trying to lose weight. And so we were, he was looking at like, what, you know, what are the th- th- like 30 things I do, I do one day? What, what are 30 things that are going to, um, how is this going to help you in life um, doing this behavior change according to what your values are? Like what your three values are, give me 10 things according to these three values that, um, you know, is how your life is going to improve. And so, so much was tied around in, in the learning and whatnot. And one of his values was tied around his, his, his lovely daughters. And so, and his daughters are, are like, they're ninja, ninja warrior, cheerleading, backflipping, athletic <laughs> little girls. And so for him, he wants to be there. He wants to show up with his kids, be able to go swimming, be able to help his kids, um, you know, rough house. Cause these kids are going to be like, they're just athletic. Mm-hmm. And so for him, that's a big reason why. And, and of course he wants to be there for his daughter's uh, wedding. Right. right. To be, let's be honest. Like once they, you know, in the future, he wants to be a grandfather. And so for parents, this program is amazing because the way that I, the way that we look at it, looking at your value system, looking at who you want to be, who you want to be as a parent, as an individual, and thriving, rather than only looking at, give me another recipe. Mm-hmm. This is way deeper. This is going to help you in not just diet and nutrition, but also your 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 family life, your career. I guarantee it guaranteed because this is so transformative the behavior change around fitness is um mm-hmm. is what i'm learning is it's it's a microcosm it is just one it's just it's just like okay we're gonna do all this let's do it around behavior let's do it around fitness and nutrition and then what you're gonna be you're gonna have like you're gonna know what are the five pillars that are making that have made me successful for example mm-hmm. in life and then you know, you're going to have, you're going to have all this like homework that we're going to, it's not a lot, but it's, it's going to have all these things to refer <laughs> it's good to. Stuff because it's like the tools that you're setting yourself up for like how it all works, right? Exactly. And you can always go back to it. Oh, what are my five pillars? What one of my five pillars personally, because I, I have a sample for people is uh, pragmatism, very pragmatic person, mm-hmm. I'm very pragmatic. And so like <laughs> I did a Facebook social media post the other day about um, so I had ice cream for dinner. <laughs> I mean, I was like, so I had ice cream for dinner. So and that's like, what? Coming about. from your personal trainer, a exactly. you ate ice cream for dinner. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, what? But it's, it makes sense. Cause for me, it's like, I don't want to have four meals. I don't want to have dinner, dessert every day, but once a week, I'm going to, I'm going to have a bowl of ice cream with, and I kind of, I'm not going to, I, I, I kind of make some adjustments though. Like I'll put, I'll put scoops of, um, a couple scoops of ice cream and then I'll have protein because that'll, that'll blunt the, 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 uh, sugar spike. So I'm hoping you're talking like nut butters or something and not like meat you're putting on your ice cream. <laughs> no, no, no. And then like, I'll put dates, dates instead of like Smarties because dates have, uh, there you go. have, uh, what's it called? Fiber. And then like, let's say like, uh. Yeah, I don't know, like a granola instead of Oreos because or, or, granola has fiber. So, but it's, it's still like, what I'm saying is that it's so satisfying mm-hmm. and I'm not having it on top of a dinner. I'm doing this like once or twice a month, right? right? I'm not doing this every day. And like you said, this would be then your like bottom floor that you work to rise to be like, that would be your bad day. Would be having the ice cream for dinner instead of <laughs> And it's actually yeah. not that bad, right? Because you phrase it's actually it. not that bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can even do that with breakfast for dinner. Like you can right. have like, but you, you can lean breakfast. in a little bit, let's say, and say, "Oh, I'm gonna mix up my pancakes with a bit of uh, whole wheat, you know, whole wheat pa- flour, for example, mm-hmm. or like whole wheat pancake batter mix or whatever." So, or if you know, like I commented on one of our colleagues uh, in uh, on LinkedIn. I'm, and so she was talking about, you know, actually, like she was, she's not a, a fitness person, but she was talking about diet and, and whatnot. 
And I, I just explained in her in in my in the comments that you know like people forget like crisps. Crisps were our chips nowadays. We call them chips here, but they were crisps mm -hmm. in the UK, right? But they were on the plate of the dinner. They weren't like a, a, you weren't eating it out of a bag, mm. right? At three thirty in the afternoon, no, you had it with one of your three plates of food, and it was portioned. But it's it was still savory, and so you you know so like that's another thing I say is like just you know if you want to have some starch, yeah, you have your three plates of food. Just put in like take away for some spot some like some the the I don't know the the, the brown rice and put in some chips. Mm. Put in some jujubes. I don't care. Just make sure that you have your structure, and within that structure, mm -hmm. you can, you can bend. You can, you can. We got wiggle room within that structure. Yeah, and I think that structure, setting up that structure, is what's missing for so many of us. That like it feels overwhelming as a busy parent and entrepreneur to think about going to the gym for an hour every day, where it doesn't have to be that if you've got those structures around some of your meals and, you know, some rules that, you know, you don't have dessert and you only, you were sharing with me the other day, only eating at, not eating at your desk or yeah. only eating at the dinner table. Some of those things are going to help so that you don't have to do an hour workout at, at every day. It's like, it makes exactly. it so easier. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I got like two things here. Like, yeah, you can, in terms of walking, like you need to do what, uh, here's some tricks. You need to do 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous cardiovascular exercise per week. Well, if you if you walked outside after every meal for mm -hmm. five minutes and then you turned around, you came back mm -hmm. and then for lunch, you did that again. After lunch, you did that again. And then after dinner, you did that again. That's enough cardio for the, for the week. Hmm. and if you did like and then or you can know and another thing is like if you, let's say you're you're working at home as a single you know as a parent or whatever you might be an entrepreneur um well let's mix up the days you have to get up every 20 minutes there's just mm -hmm. a lot of research it's all about it's not so it's also about not being sedentary not just mm -hmm. getting exercise so if you get up every 20 minutes you're supposed to get up for 90 seconds well you can incorporate i, I did this today uh i incorporated not just 90 seconds, two minutes of kettlebell swings every 20 minutes while I was working. I saw, I saw you do that at the very beginning of this. Before we yeah, got I was showing them off. I you was a witness. <laughs> yeah. Well, you made me, but that's okay. Um, and it's, you know, like some days I don't feel like I work out pretty hard and some days I don't want to work out hard, but I know I want to exercise. And mm -hmm. so that was, that's a trick. And if you do that, like, I'm going to nerd out, but if you do that consistently, your growth hormone, like that, that little bit, every single, like greasing the groove is another expression. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, how can you, like, these are some tricks, you know, if you've got a toddler exercise with them, mm -hmm. you know, do that with them. It's, you're going to, they're going to love you for it. And you're going to your role modeling such good habits too. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Love kids. Good. Yeah. There, go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, I love kids. When I, I lived in, actually lived in Japan, and so working in the elementary schools. Mm -hmm. And here's a country. This country is amazing. Like, you have the kids. I mean, so the I, I worked in junior high and elementary sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, so the kids walk or bike to school. They they have phys ed class. And then after phys ed, they're in their, they have, like, the more, like, Sailor Moon type school outfit. And then the more um the jumper mm -hmm. so after phys ed they would have like two or three times a week and then they have lunch time lunch time uh they do another 40 minutes of they're in the gym they're outside playing soccer they're playing volleyball they're kind of they're not like lounging around like we kind of did in junior high mm -hmm. they're playing sports and yeah. then they have to clean the school midday okay. right for 15 minutes and then they have to do two hours of uh of uh after school activity and then they got a bike back home oh my and then they got to go home so they these kids are like exercising exercise. four hours a day yeah <laughs> wow well i guess that's keeping their minds sharp then too <laughs> their bodies and their minds going <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah, so there's things that you can do like i mean if i was like um i'm kind of digressing but if i was a, if i had a kid and i was homeschooling them 
maybe you do that. Maybe you incorporate the chores as part of their their, their school day so that they stay active. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to spend some of that energy. So this is just some ideas. So yeah, that's great. You know, it's interesting. My son um gets goes on the my kids go on the school bus to school. But he gets there an hour early um, before school and it's he spends that whole hour like running like crazy, playing soccer on the field. And I always thought felt bad for him because I was like, fuck an extra hour at school. Um, But it's actually turned into be one of the best things that's helped him actually with school um, because he's gotten that energy out and he's exercised first thing in the morning. His focus and his attention is so much greater within the classroom. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting how that turned into a good mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> and cool. and that's, um, just to circle back a bit, that is called activities of daily living. Mm. So uh, the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology, we, we recognize, like, care. Caring for your kids is now considered activities of daily living, along mm. with, of course, chores and whatnot. So all of this adds up now. It's not just about... Um, did I do my, you know, my aerobics uh, yeah, in front or going of the to the TV? gym? Yeah. <laughs> like, or did I go to the gym? It is, did, what did I, did I do gardening? Did I mop the floor? Mm-hmm. You know, all of that is incorporated now in what we look at in terms of physical activity, because mm-hmm. we don't, and especially it's important because people don't want to feel inadequate when they are kind of getting some stuff in. You should, you should look at that and then top it up. That's Pop great. It up and then you're yeah. good. I love it. And I love the idea of that structure. So now, um, before we let you go, uh, this has been really fascinating because I think something that will really be helpful for our parents, because I know the thought of going to the gym certain days a week is very overwhelming, but piecing it into like, you know, a little two minutes every 20 minutes, you get up for two minutes and do something. I know I was on a call with my business coach the other day and she does it. She gets up and she walks up the two flights of stairs and back down every every between every call that she's got. And that's what keeps her going. Um, it's so it's so great. And I know you have um a couple of courses that you have, especially one on behavior change that really helps you um set up for success in yes. creating this structure. So can you share with our listeners where they can find out more information about that program and uh, where to where to connect with you? Absolutely. Just send me an email. It's simple sjg at sjgfit.com and so send me an email we can have a one-hour chat complimentary and we can um, do a deep dive about you know what's important to you and the the beautiful thing is we kind of i kind of like to structure it quickly Mm -hmm. surrounding four pillars four things which is family and friends four f's family and friends of course fitness Mm -hmm. uh finance so like what your what your um careers and 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 whatnot and then faith not necessarily religion but what your value system is Mm. at the end of this conversation it really gives me a good idea about where you are and so that yeah should you come on this program with me um we have a good base so that that's something that i would uh would love to do with people cool well that sounds great so blissful parents make sure you head on over there check it out and reach out to sartre that you are interested in joining him and before we let you go do you have any last words of wisdom for our parents out there don't sweat the small stuff right it's about you know don't sweat the small stuff and things will work out like having ice cream for dinner like having ice cream for dinner (laughs) sometimes no big deal yeah that's awesome all right thanks so much Sasha, for joining us today and blissful parents go out there and have an amazing week we'll see you again next week bye bye Thank you.